Hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. On today's video tutorial, I have kind of a fun thing to show you, and it's a kind of unique way to start off the top of a tassel. I know these um, wooded, wood beaded uh, garlands are so popular right now, and if you are out looking for them, you can pay, well, you can pay a lot of money. And you can make this yourself so easily. So I just wanna show you how to do this little thing right here at the top, okay? Um, and I also wanted to tell you that you can get these little chunky pieces of wood like that or this at Dollar Tree. Here's one that I did uh, this week. We stenciled one side of it with the wood and one side of it with a leopard in gray, and then I just put one little uh, bead on there in gray. Anyways, so um, you can make these so super affordably, and um, I just wanna show you, okay, this one, in contrast, had each, there's four pieces, each piece had 10, um, 10 sections of the jute cording, and they were 18 inches long. On the one that we're making now, it's a thinner kind of a jute, and we're making these to be 12 inches long. And I'm just gonna cut four more and then I'll be all ready to start. So I'm measuring 12 inches, and then I'm just going to, they don't have to be exact, we'll, we can trim them up when we're all done. One more. So I will have four piles of jute strips or cording strips. They're each 12 inches long and there's 10 in each pile. Okay, the hardest part for me in doing this fancy top on a, um, on a tassel was the mental part of it because you have to you do have to think about what you're doing and I just couldn't seem to get it figured out well now I have it figured out okay so here's one bunch and I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna lay it down here's another bunch you want to kind of pull all the tails so they're about you know roughly at the same So how are you guys doing today? I cannot believe this is the last day of September. Holy cow, time is flying by. And Wednesdays are always a little crazy for me because I have my Bible study in the morning and um, getting ready to have my sister come visit. So I'm trying to get the guest room picked up for her and Anyway, so this is a little later than what I normally come live, but as you're hopping on, I see, I see Lib, is it Libby from Alabama? And Bree and Billy Ann and Julie and Jolene and Ellen. Um, so as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this. Um, if, if, if you have a hard time the first time you do it, what I suggest, I'm gonna turn on the light here a little bit, if I can figure out how to do that, is um, just to watch the tutorial again. You can fast forward through the parts that you don't think you need. So I'm just getting each one of these little stacks of 10 pieces of twine pretty leveled up. Okay, and then I'm folding them in half. All right, so let me dip this down just a little bit. Get this out of the way. All right, so you're going to lay them in the shape of a square. Hey, and I did want to mention to you guys, if, if you're having a hard time looking at this because the comments, you can swipe them to the side. And um, then if you want them back, you can swipe them back. So I have the fold here and the tails here. So on this one, we're forming a square. I'm gonna put the fold next to the tails. 
and then the bottom of the square I'm putting the fold next to these tails and then this other side wow I must have really cut one of these <laughs> way off um, so it's let me fix this because this is gonna bother me <laughs> it's gonna be the tail um, next to the fold on each side of your square okay and then you fold them in half okay so you guys see what I've got going all right then you're gonna take start at the top and take the tails you're gonna pull it under this side of your fold and just set it over the top of the other side Make sure you have all the pieces pulled through okay you guys see that now these tails are going to go under this side and over the other side okay golly my tails are all messed up okay and then this one these tails are going to go under the front and over the back okay and then these tails are going to go under the front and over the back and it's, I know it's hard to visualize um, this is kind of what it looks like looks like a square it looks like a hashtag okay so then you're going to gently start to pull each section of your tails this, these guys where do they need to go um, through the the fold And this is basically just slowly cinching it up. So can you see where we are right now? And when I get um, towards the end of it, I'll make it neat because there's some that are really sticking out funny. Uh-oh, this one didn't go through. Let's see, can I fix that? I think I can. Okay. No, that does not go there, it goes here. Anyways, so if you've made tassels before, um, tell me in the comments, what is your favorite thing to make them out of? Do you like to use ribbon? Do you like to use fabric? Um, what do you like to make your tassels out of? This one I used yarn, and this is the same top is what I'm gonna show you. And this was like um, some kind of rope, and it has the same top on it. And these are all beads that I ordered from Amazon, and I'll put that information in the comments. They came, when I ordered them, I got three sizes, and I think they were 16, 20, and 25. And what I liked about these beads was that the um, the hole in the center was nice and generous. So it was easier to get to thread them, you know? Where is this one? Long one that's wanting to... Okay, so let me show you where we are. This is what it looks like right now. And boy, I have really messed up my tails here. We're gonna have to cut this short. Okay, once you get towards the end of it, you just wanna neaten it up a little bit. And then, um, this twine is pretty, I don't didn't save the packaging on it. It's pretty small in diameter. And I have some of these plastic needles from Walmart that have a big eye. And I'm just going to run my needle right through the very center. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. There we go, see it's right through the center. I'm gonna pull it up. Then I'm gonna put a couple of knots on the end of this.
This is what we're going to string our beads on, which I don't think we'll do that actually for this demonstration. Sometimes I like to just tie one piece of the twine to the string just to give it that extra, um, not going to pull through. All right, so here's our string that we would do the beads on, and here's our top. I'm gonna neaten it up just a little bit, and then I'll cut some twine to do the wrap around it. And um, I'm gonna show you guys how you can hide the ends, which a lot of you guys are crafty. You've probably made a 100 tassels, you're better at this than me. But I couldn't figure this out for the longest time, how to, and in fact, when I did this, um, this is that cord that I love so much. I just got another one of it from Walmart in the jewelry section. It's called Natural Polished Hemp. I called it wax, but it's polished. Um, and, you know, I probably will change it out, but this is what I'm talking about, is this thing that you tie around the tummy. How can you hide those? Okay, so now we're just gonna pick up our tassel. Oh, I need to cut a piece. And give yourself a long, generous piece to wrap around the stomach. I'm not seeing any comments, which is so strange. Whoops. Well, I will look at the comments. There we go. Oh, I was wondering if nobody was uh, watching. So, okay. So you can pick up this. Um, this is Everbuilt brand. It's from Home Depot. It's inexpensive. This came from Walmart. This probably came from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or that you didn't even get this kind of stuff at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm going to pull my little braided kind of top up here. I looked and looked to find out what the name of this kind of a top was for a tassel and I could not find it. I know it has some kind of special name, um, but I couldn't find it for the life of me. Okay, so then you're just gonna find a spot that you like and you're gonna start wrapping. And don't wrap super duper tight or else you won't be able to hide your tail. more time. Okay, and then I'm going to tie the two ends of it together. Can you see where I wrapped it? And I'm just going to do a knot. All right, let me show you what we have. And can you see the top? We'll trim this up so it'll be nice. Okay, so what I want to show you now is how to hide these guys. And the easiest thing to do, again, if you can um, find, they also have these needles that have a flexible head that, that are metal that kind of um, pop out. But, but I'm just going to thread my cord stuff through my plastic needle. This is one of the pieces that I use to tie around the tummy. And I'm going to go into the bunch and out the bottom. So can you see that? And I just pulled that. This was the half of the thing that was tied around the tummy. Now let's find the other one. And let's do the same thing. I do want it to come out sort of towards the center inside of this. And here it is. And there we go. So now you can see that the, um, the spot where we did our knot is hidden now. 
okay and we have this long piece let's trim this at least a little bit although I really messed up there's some pieces that are super short And that looks just fine. Now what I would do, let's just string a few beads and I'll show you how I like to end it. Um, okay, let's do, I mean, really, let's just do a couple just for the point of me showing you how to end it. Um, these are some of the beads that I purchased. And from Amazon, they were not expensive. At least I didn't think they were. And, um, I will share the, the dealer information, the Amazon dealer information when I get up. So I'm gonna use my needle again. You don't have to, you can put some tape around the end. Sometimes you'll have beads that have like this gunk that they didn't do a good job getting them out. So I'll just use the head of my scissors, the pointy part, and scrape that out. Oh my gosh, my dog is at the door crying. She's like, Mom, why won't you let me in? Let's see, two more pieces. I need to order again because you know the ones that I've used the most are the little ones. And I almost don't have any of those left. Do a big one. This one has a really big hole. They're not all that big. We'll do this one. Okay, so I, I mean, if this was for real, I mean, you guys are for real, but if I was really making a tassel, I would do a whole bunch more beads. But I just wanna show you how I like to end it off. Okay, I will usually take um, my, let me think. I'm, if I was going to hook it to like this cross, I almost just tied it in a knot. Okay, so then you want to tie it so that the tie is at the top of the cross. And I'm just going to go around, let me tighten this up in just a second. Maybe there's a, like a professional way to end this. I don't know. Uh, I am a jack of all trades and master of none. <laughs> okay, so I've got it on there once. I'm going to go again. And this is what that looks like right now. one more knot here. Okay, can you guys see that knot? Okay, now what I like to do, which might be kind of hard because this ending bead is so small, I like to take the end of my string that, let's cut it off so it's got a nice point get it a little bit damp, and just go back up through one or two. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. See, I just threaded the, the string back up through one or two beads. So we'll go up one more. This one's got a nice big fat hole. You could go all the way up if you want. And then I'm just gonna cut it off right here. And voila, there's your cute little tassel. The, um, you know, depending on how many beads you use, it's probably no more than a couple of dollars. These crosses and these shapes 
or one dollar at the Dollar Tree. Your twine is not going to be much at all. And, um, and then, of course, you can go to the next step if you want and use a stencil of your choice. Or you could decoupage these. Um, or you could just paint them. I mean, there's so many different things that you could do with this. So that was pretty much what I wanted to show you was how to make this top of a tassel. You see that? And then how to um, put your ends back down through the center and how to end it at the top. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you do end up making some of these tassels with this funny little top and you know what it's called, please let me know because I can't figure that out. Um, if you do end up making some, I would love for you to share those over on our crafting group, which is Dreamy DIY. You can literally just type that in the search bar here on Facebook. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can hop over to Facebook and type in Dreamy, and then there's a space, DIY, and it'll take you to our group. Uh, there's almost 10,000 people in that group already. It's crazy, and some of the most amazing crafts I've seen in a long, long time. Um, so then you'll you'll answer a couple of quick questions and we'll say, yes, come on in. And then I invite you to go and look through all the gazillions of amazing photos of projects that are there that people have shared. And then if you make something like this, share pictures of your crafts with all of us as well. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you um, would like to sprinkle this to some of your friends that are crafty, I would love that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys. I'll take pictures and then I will um, for sure see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching.